Oh, uh, congratulations here, champion. I decided to give you something as a celebration. Master Ball? Lady, I know I'm champion and I deserve better, but... Uh, I'm lit- I'm literally doing a no-catch challenge. I don't need this. I don't need it. No, but I gave it to you. You defeated Eternatus and no, I don't want it. But no, I do not want it! I would like to sell this, please. What? You can't buy Master Balls. It's a Master Ball, how can you not want it? No, I simply can't, it's too valuable. What a wuss. Hello everybody, this is Super Smash Bro X number 10, and welcome back to my Pokemon Sword No Catch Let's Play. Last time, we pretty much beated the champion, and um, we're about to start the post game and the DLC. We're not going to do the DLC today, but we're just going to do post game. So let's do one quick team recap before we get started on today's episode. We got Ripjaws the Dracovish, Feedback the Dracozolt, Frostbite the Arctozolt, Purple Haze the Low Key Toxtricity, Bruce the Arctivish, and I can't believe I'm saying this, but our but our MVP, our starter Charlotte the Cinderace. And for those that haven't seen the last episode, uh, she beat uh, champion uh, Leon's uh, Charizard, and uh, yeah, pretty much won the league. It's really symbolic having your starter. Um, Finish off the last Pokemon, uh, finish off the champion. So yeah, she really has come a long way. We're about to have another gift Pokemon. So you may be asking yourself, what is this new gift Pokemon? Well, as it turns out, after you beat the champion, you get a special gift uh, Charmander from Leon. There's a Pokeball with a Charmander in it. You read the letter attached to the Pokeball. If you're reading this ad, then I'm leaving this special Charmander to you. Let's have a real fiery battle again soon. Best, Leon. It probably would have been a lot cooler if it was like, I don't know, maybe the other starter you didn't get at the beginning of the game, but... Oh well. It has a preference for hot things. When it rains, steam is set to spout at the tip of its tail. Hmm. I thought uh, you uh, put out the flame on its tail, it dies. But whatever, uh, we can get this Charmander no problem simply because it's a gift Pokemon and we're using gifted Pokemon. So what do we name this little dude? We'll name him Cheddar. An increase of speed and a decrease of special defense. Welcome to the team, Cheddar. I mean, I don't want to add another duplicate fire type to the team, but then again, I have like multiple electric and water types, so... Sorry, Bruce. And for those of you saying, oh, Cheddar's is, uh... Why'd you name it that? I don't know, I'm not good at naming things, and someone in my in my Twitch chat, for those that are, uh, Twitch... Uh, Twitch frogs or YouTube frogs, the ones that are seeing this in the future, congratulations, um, I will be streaming this exclusively on Twitch. Oh. Hey Charlotte, I mean I gotta say, you actually did pretty good out there with the, um, with the whole champion battle and everything. I'm actually kind of impressed. Now move aside, I gotta I gotta talk to this little guy. I just realized I have like three electric types on my team that it calls uh, uh, feedback, purple haze, and uh, frostbite. And I just got rid of a few water types, but oh well. Uh, and you can see purple haze and Charlotte just talking. What do you think these two are talking about? Let me know in the comments below, what do you think uh, Charlotte and Purple Haze are conversating about? Maybe some... random diabolical plan to get rid of me or something? I don't know. Oh, by the way, we just reached three followers on Twitch, let's go! By the way, if you want more content, uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel, uh, follow my Twitch channel, follow my Twitter, at Synergex... Uh, no, wrong Twitter. Follow my Twitter, uh, Super Smash Bro underscore X, and, uh, yeah. Sour Bone Curry. Oh, that's a that's a Kaparaja class. Nice. Look at the way he runs. Oh, it's a it's a race between uh, Charlotte and uh, Rip Jaws. You're doing great, buddy. You're doing great. You have a higher special attack. Ooh, nice, one shot. See, this is what Charlotte should have done from the very beginning. One shot things with Ember, but... Oh, well, I forgot he still keeps his uh, intro animation from his, uh, from our um, stadium match. Let's see what Low Kick will do.
I really gotta get a better fighting move. You gonna heal? Uh, yeah, he heals. I forgot Trainer's heal, but... Oh well. Alright, nice. We took out the double, no problem. Dragon Breath? Oh, heck yeah. Way to go, Cheddar. Fire Fang. Snorlax? Oh, you're definitely dead with low kick. Critical hit, wishing to be praised. Hmm. I, I'm pretty sure that was gonna knock out the Snorlax anyway, so... I don't know what you're going on about. Man, Charmander's getting a lot of good moves. Let's try Headbutt. Maybe we can get a flinch. Never mind. And he used Dive, so we gotta switch into something else. What? What the? Where did that Pikachu come from? Um. Okay. That was... <sighs> well, uh, rest in peace that Pikachu. <laughs> Rillaboom. Okay, you're definitely easy to take out. Alright, Ice Fang. Oh, you're faster. Oh, but you dodged. Nice. Ah, uh, but that didn't knock it out. Oof. Nice, but another Ice Fang landed. Great job, Frostbite. Flamethrow- wow! Charmander's getting a lot of good moves- or, I'm sorry, Chatter. Let's switch into Purple Haze. We can Toxic and Boom Burst. Ha! You were gonna use Poison Jab. On a Poison type. All but a crit. Almost a one-shot. Corviknight. Oh, that's an easy one-shot. Cheddar's about to evolve. Uh, I'm gonna Charmeleon so early. It has a barbaric nature. In battle, it whips out its fiery tail around and lashes away with its sharp claws. Oh yeah, I forgot Sonya was professor uh, in the post-game. Oh god! Prepare for what's possibly the worst characters in the entire game. Well, well, well. You wouldn't happen to be Professor Sonya, who wrote the book Galar, A History? Uh, uh, hello? You bought my book? Why, yes, of course. We read it from cover to cover. Why, yes, of course. I even wrote an internet review for it. That awful book was filled with lies, so we gave it one star. Wow. What clowns. I guess we gotta fight this guy. Sir Fetched. All right, Charlotte. Show him what you got. Ooh, we can use bounce. Do you accept trades? Um, currently not right now at the moment, since like uh, right now I'm doing this. Uh, this no catch playthrough for those that just joined in. This is a no catch uh, Pokemon Sword playthrough, and but this is on one of my alternate files and not my main one because that's where I have my Nintendo Switch Online and. Uh, Maybe in the future I'll consider doing trades on my main profile. Oh wow, and she dodged it, wow. But like, as if you're- as if the trades question, uh, not right now, because this is an alternate profile, so... I'm sorry if this is not the answer you wanted. This sharp. Oh, you're screwed. Are you sure about that? Pyrobolet. Ha! Huh? Charlotte. I- I was just going on about, like, complimenting how you were the rising star in, in that champion battle, and now you decided to miss a Pyro Ball? I mean, you missed a Stone Edge, but... You better not miss again. Charlotte, you're worthless. You're absolutely useless. How, how dare you? You were, you did so well in that Charizard battle, but yet, unbelievable. Someone please clip that. It's at one HP. Wow. 
Well, look on the bright side with these two. At least they do Jojo poses. According to our sources... Is that I made it up. Destroying the mural our family had held in high esteem for so long? Shut up, dudes. You're not even important. How? What was that? How did Charlotte miss twice in a row? And then get one shot crit by a Stone Edge. When she was doing so well. I just remember why I hate you so much. I'm just gonna say this is a hot take, but after reviewing uh, some gameplay footage for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, I prefer just the human models in Sword and Shield and the rest of Gen 8 compared to Scarlet and Violet. I don't know what it is. It's not like the character designs themselves, but like the character models and like the, the art style they, they went for. Charlotte, listen. You and I have a complicated sort of situation going on, but you... I just realized you gave me more of a reason to hate you again. Yeah, I guess uh, Cinderace is not redeemable anymore. <laughs> All right, everybody, this is Super Smash Bros. X number 10, and thank you guys so much for watching the next part of uh, my Pokemon Sword Note Catch Let's Play. Um, we got a gift Charmander, and we named him Cheddar, and he's a Charmeleon now. And uh, this was... Uh, this was Charlotte's biggest embarrassing moment. And uh, yeah, we're gonna do some more post-game stuff. This is simply a introduction to post-game. Obviously, like... Hi, Rip Jaws. In which you should uh, follow my Twitch, twitch.tv slash Super Smash Bros. X. Follow, uh, consider subscribing to my channel, liking the video, and following my Twitter when you have the chance. All right? All right, guys, this is Super Smash Bros. X number 10. Uh, signing off, people. Hey, hey, why are you two fighting? Jeez.